most of our farmlands they are uh, they are quite ruined and uh, kind of gone actually and uh, you can make out by looking at the earth itself this kind of red uh, hard surface quite compacted and uh, carbon content is all gone so some poor quality weeds will come and then uh, uh, it is uh, denatural i mean there is no nutrient content and all becomes very poor this uh, it's difficult for it is hard compacted soil it can hardly uh, the roots and all have difficulty to penetrate and then uh, there will be no earthworms so in a nutshell you can say it's ruined so the first and foremost problem what uh, gardeners natural gardeners natural farmers and all face is to increase the carbon content in the soil and uh, in my experience of some 40 45 years of all this organic natural farming and all i found this is one of the best uh, raw material now getting this carbonaceous content is not such a easy thing nowadays uh one thing is uh, one you can uh, use all these with these weeds and all can be chopped and uh, mulched you know this is all ex- kind of hopeless weeds that are uh, that come in uh, this disturbed places and then second option is you can grow your own green hedge like that they have, don't have much knowledge they have grown that glycidia but many species are there so around the border of the border of the farm you can have a line of these this glycidia and they can chop that branches and all and uh, add it back to the earth that's one way weeds and uh, green hedge uh, choppings then uh, third is you have to get some external input is needed because like with all these low this weeds and uh, that green hedge uh, stuff it will take years together to increase the carbonaceous content so uh you have to get something fast and bulky and economical also so in this uh, kind of urban settings and all what i found the most abundant source is this coconut uh, this tender coconut stuff that the people eat i mean they drink and all usually this coconuts are brought from uh, some surrounding farm countryside and all and then they is kept inside the city and those those fellows chop that uh, coconut and serve it to the customers afterwards this leftovers are uh, dumped and they become garbage and uh, they are major problem for city also because it's bulky and quite heavy uh this is itself half a kg almost because uh, it's a heavy carbonaceous content with moisture so best option is to allow it to dry in the sun so that the weight reduces then it's easier to transport and all but you can take the raw stuff itself what you do is you make a contact with the nearest uh, this tender coconut person in your area make a deal with him that every once in a week or two you'll carry the stuff and take it out usually they give it up free because uh, it's a headache for them to get rid of it so you can collect it in a one of those little temp over a auto or something even in the dicky of the car and pile it up in some corner of your farm that's all it will decompose steadily and then or you can uh, that's the best you can just dump it in the side somewhere like what they've done here and uh, as it decomposes and become soft and brown you can it will it's full of it's a 90% carbon only nothing else so this is one of the cheapest number one source second is that uh, sugarcane uh, uh 
sugar cane after they take out the sugar cane juice that that uh, that stems are there juiceless stems that is also a bulky item which is available inside the cities and normally people are happy if you take it away free for them so these two sources i recommend first and foremost because they are economical and uh, almost high in carbon one is sugar cane waste second is this coconut uh husk very nice uh, compost can be produced out of it and uh, it increases the carbon content very fast within a few years you will have all this stuff will decompose off and earthworms will come and take it in and it will seep and make your soil dark uh, brown which is how it should be rich soil is uh, dark brown and uh, this decomposing this stuff also it attracts lot of uh, these uh, beneficial insects like this millipedes earthworms and all will come and they will convert it into vermi compost milli compost and all and uh, that improves the richness of the soil 